Seventy young Guatemalans from a small and until recently unknown production studio formed part of the special effects team that worked on the Disney production The Chronicles of Narnia. Using techniques learned in Studio C, they took delight bringing to life the fantastic characters that interacted with the film's flesh and blood lead actors. They built castles, they painted snow-filled landscapes, they created the frosty breath that lent a real touch to a virtual fantasy. The young artists passed their creativity tests with flying colors and mastered the new technologies. The Narnia special effects team was nominated for an Oscar. So for us, it was a joy, a sense of pride, and all the while we realized that it was going to be quite a tough job, because it was the first time we were doing such a huge film, and of course, all eyes from the United States were on us. This was the dream of the young Guatemalan entrepreneur, Carlos Arguello, when he created Studio C. After succeeding in Hollywood in a dozen films as an animation expert, he decided to give the same opportunity to youth in his country. This whole generation of kids, ages 18 to 28, has a great interest in working with technology. They have many dreams and already have a global mentality where they regard Guatemala as their home turf where they work. But they don't want to work just for Guatemala, but for Guatemala and the world. 70% of Guatemala's population is under 28 years of age and faces extremely high rates of unemployment and social exclusion. Arguello believes that the problem is not a lack of talent among the youth, they have it in abundance, but rather of a lack of education and of opportunity. In fact, in the company we do have enough work for 2,000 people, but we can't do that until we start a university or a training center where all the tools are given to them, which are needed for them to focus on this. The goal of Carlos Arguello's grand project is for the youth of Guatemala and all of Central America to master the language of the new technologies. He plans to open a huge art and technology center in Guatemala City, which will include Studio C for commercial production, Artec as an academic center for intensive learning of technologies, and Fundación C.A. to promote culture and education through technology. Studio C includes a sample of what this initiative could be as a part of an exhibit in the IDB's cultural center in Washington. Through computerized images, Guatemala Interactivo fosters an understanding of the cultural richness of the country and proposes an appealing way to promote education. Education, technology, and large doses of creative youth. A winning formula to continue building the future of Guatemala.